All right, part six, the work with the carman painter. Section A, work with the passenger train car. For the painting of the varnish for the passenger train car is done with the shop designated exclusively for that purpose. The design of the painter begins with the work. The repairs have been completed with the exemption of the car tire trimming. The removal of the paint burning off the way the torch. The first work of the painter is to prepare the car for the condition of the outside of the car. It is often such that the old paint must be entirely removed. The blow done with the wooden equipment with the aid of the gasoline blow torch for the steel scraper. The apparatus generally is used with the called a hawket burning outfit. The painter be heats for the small part of the surface of which for the varnish of the paint blisters and he scrapes it off. And an experienced man of the work would probably be burned holes in the lighter portion of the outside of the woodwork and the charge for the edge of the molding so what so when the scraper the scan paper is used and leave the hollow he must also use the care of the completing of his work with no spark of the torch that is ignited any of the concealed parts of the car such as the paper fell or is sometimes found behind the panels of the woodwork and some of the cars he is awesome responsible for the care of that he gives with the blowtorch hose and couplings in the tanks that is to be used the burning off of the, of the lie turning uh, the torch method of burning off the plane of the varnish is not however the seal of the equipment the paint varnish is on these cars the burned off with a strong solution of lye, which is made of the very thick, sticky of the soda to adhere to the side of the car. The solution is allowed to remain on the car overnight, then wash off the next day of the stream with water from a hose, which takes off all the paint and varnish with it. The man using the lye solution must take care of that he does not get much of the of the oil in his clothes, or that it some of it does not splash or strike him or possible in the eye. He must also wear rubber boots and when cleaning the car with a hose. Sandblasting on some of the railroads, painting varnish is removed from the outside of the surface with a steel car, sand car, steel cars by sand car, sandblasting a special grade of white fl 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 flinty stone is blown against the surface of the powerful steam of compressed air. Is doing the work of the painter wears the variety of the gas mask and he has used the both respirator and goggles and very uncomfortable work as showers and sand work therefore weighing through the clothing is not next to the body. Surfacing after burning off the outside of the car has gone over the sandpaper. Any surfaces that are smooth and are made so after the priming with the coat of the color with the supply of the primary coat is generally cut off the rubbing of the wood sandpaper for the purpose of making this smooth for the application of the filing coats. The main requires the experience with this of doing this sandpaper will work. You must make the surface much smoother without the cutting of the through the cut of the paint so the exposing the bare wood. The primary coating must be applied with it carefully so that it enters all the crevices, cracks, and scaled parts of the nail holes, etc., and on surfaces of the car. After the priming coat that has been dried, the coat surfaces uh, applied with the usually of the seating day. The coat must be carefully applied to all the surface defects in order that when his putty is applied, it will hold it into place. The hole of the crevice is not primed and see the torch with the varnish. There is nothing to bind the putty with which for the paint and fillers. All of these holes will result that after the car has been completed, the putty will fall out of the loose and disfigure the car and after all the coats of paint and varnish have been applied. Putty. In applying putty of the holes disfigured parts for the sur surface car, the painter must use the proper kind of the putty that must be, be able to proper by be uh, the proper the body. This is made must have the proper portion of the wet and dry. In some of the cases, he must he would he would use a lead putty or a heavy hard drying putty, which you when you, which when the oil which was mixed with it evaporated will become almost as hard as cement. And whenever, whereas the other places he would use a soft putty, which does the note not dry quickly when the dry is not as, as hard. Application of the color after application of the putty, second coat of the surface or is applied after it is dried. The surface is sandpaper smooth, especially care of the being used in spots that have been putty. The primary surface of the color colors are generally flat and dry quickly after the surface is dried out with sufficiently two coats of varnish color are applied when the coats are colored but they have properly set with the cards and given the two coats of varnish varnishing. In varnishing the outside surface of the car, the painter must um, first get on the center of the shop at the right with the temperature of the door of the shops are closed so as not to have the draw of the eye on his work. The varnishing of the car when the surface is cold, 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 when the surface is cold, the car is dropped with the will cause of the varnish to crawl. The crawling of the cold would be likened to the attempt to spread the water evenly. Grease surface of the varnish runs into the bubbles and streaks will not spread evenly on the surface of the car. No work is done with the paint shop that would be li liable to ra ra raise the dust which would disfigure the cars that were 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 that are wet and paint of varnish. Care and varnishing. The paint finds the necessary to use the scaffolding horse of the planks in order to reach the top of the letter board of the car of the implying the paint of the varnish that you must be able to be careful to do it in such a manner that there are no laps, brushes, marks will show that it requires considerable skill the experience of the skill or the best of the resulting varnish in the passenger car of those will be regularity surface regularity of surface um Surface and moldings is outside the window sills. Other projection of the varnish must be uh, applied level. That is, the thickness of the coat must be uniform over the entire surface. It must be inconsiderable. That it must be in proper consistency. Neither to be thick nor too thin. It must be care taken to in getting the most best result. And not brush and note too much more. Than not too heavily. For, um, for when the outside of the skin is varnished begins with the colligated, with which does quickly when applied with a heavy burnishing, burn, brushing at it, the time will be caused scratches on the on the surfaces that cannot be removed. 
mistakes due to ins and experience. The working of the painting is done entirely with the mechanics. Regular apprentices working under the supervision of the mechanic. After beginning with his day's work, he must generally be given a uh, list of the cards in the shop to which he must apply with the necessary codes of the color in this next in order of the first and second. The codes of the varnish the necessary that depends entirely on the judgment whether the last applied with the color of the car. The code of the color of the varnish is dry instead of the properly before he commences his work. At this separate course for the color of the derived the different speed than experienced man would sometimes make the mistake of applying the fast drying co coat of the colors before proceeding with the coat that has dried. This means that when the first coat of the color does not does dry, the glaze of the following coat will be properly cracked. The experienced man would not be able to apply the varnish properly and would be not understand if the properties would be brushed too little and too much. With, with the result is disastrous to the appearance of the car, he would not apply the varnish evenly with the heavier would be sag for um, fold over the portion of the lighter coat he would also not uh, understand the order in which the paint is each part of the surface um, so that no brush flaps would be visible at the completion of the job all right, treatment given at the average car. The car given with the general repairs is usually given the primary coat of two coats of the surface and two coats of varnish color and with two coats of the varnish. Then on one day with more is allowed with the lapse in between each of the day in order the uh, the previous one they properly seat, set and dry the inside the finish of the painting with the stain and varnish and the floor of the trucks and the roof of the given and the two coats of paint. The paint works continuously as he is required to move and from the car to the car for performing the work needs for the outside, inside of the trucks and roof of the car. Brushes and pencils, etc. The painter tools consist of a two putty knife and one brush from the dusting of the surface of the car from the after the sandpapering, one of the large man mediums, one of the small paint brush with one of the large one medium, one of the small varnish brush with one of the set set stripping pencils, um set of stri striping pencil for the railroad company usually supplied with the brush the mechanics generally has a own set of the striping pencils which as they are become worn out with the replacement of become um, by the company. Section B, steel car painting, the putting and the priming. If the painting of the steel car problem is met by the painter, sometimes different from the painting of the wood of cars. When the outside of the steel surface of the steel car has been rusted, the scale and must be hard for him to apply his putty properly as the intended would perhaps be um, what, one six, one sixty fourth of an inch deep. Then he must be the center of hand paper, the indentation, indentation spots from which they were scaled and it has been removed from, so that all the rust is possible with removed from the cavity that he must be at the side of the hole with a priming and coat of the paint. If it is in judgment, the primary will not um, surface it to hold the putty. Then he will place then he will place some varnish in the cavity, and he will find it advisable use the hard putting, the hard drying putty that has been impregnated with the varnish in preference to the hardening dry putty that has been a mixture with lead and oil. These musicians have however, the left entirely with the mechanic. It requires considerable skill to place the putty within the cavity so that it binds him f firmly around the edges. After if, after if, 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 after it has dried, it must be sure, sure, surely enough to position the standing of the sandpapering. All right, knifing in a panel. Often a panel with a section of the surface will be found to be badly rusted scale. The ordinary methods will not greatly improve the appearance of the case of the kind of the painter builds up an entire new surface of putty. The good job of knifing and putting, putty cannot be done unless the putty is exactly suitable. When the complete the surface must show that no knife marks the job of the knifing, it must be perfectly done because the no following work will be more magnifying rather than the concealing any defects. Painting and varnish, varnishing. Applying the various coats of the colors requires the care experience to eliminate the drop lumps around the rivets of the car. They must combat the tendency of the paint of the varnish to sag at the bottom of the rivet of the head. But in the case of the varnish, drawing is covering the, from the upper half of the rivet head. Section C. Inside painting. The floor of the car is given one coat of the paint after the drying of the wood. The painters commence to work on the inside of the finish of the car. The entreating of the inside of the finish of the passenger car with a great variety of the conditions are met with the painter preparing the surface of the strain of the varnish. These are nicks and dents and finishing. Sometimes the veneer is cracked and bold so lightly that inside the finisher has now extensively repaired the left of the skill of the painter to cover the defects. Some of the inside finish is new and must be treated from the bare surface of the wood, whereas the other parts have been painted from the varnish before the require of the removal of the bad spots but being strain varnished. Surfacing and preparing the portion of the new veneer, um, sometimes of the oak and sometimes mahogany, the painter must have the knowledge of the difference of the granite surface of the woods in order to apply the first coat of the stain and shellac proper, properly in order to um, bring out the grain and the natural beauty of the wood. In some shops, the wood fillers use the other, uh, others to stain the same color as the wood is applied. In doing this to get the best, the best result, the painter, painter must know how to get the filler into the small cracks, fissures, and make up the grainer, grainer of the fill of the wood. 
Grain over the wood. The mahogany of the grain is one continuation of slight stretches and slight pores. The painter must manipulate his fill, um, filler, rub, rub it in white, white, white waste before it thoroughly dries in order to force it into all the scratches and hollows as the proper filling of the brings out the natural grain of the wood. In the event of the wood filler of the sand is not applied properly, the, after the varnish has been applied, the grain will not seem to be on the surface of the pen and finished product, but rather appear to be behind the glaze and dis, indistinct. There will be lossing of the value of the beauty of the grain of the wood. All right, varnishing. After the sand has dried properly, the par 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 painter applied for the coat of the va rubber varnishing, which is rubbed down on the beans with a piece of the coarse cloth, powdered pumice, which is wet with oil, usually banana oil. The surface of the rubber unit into the coat of the var varnish filler of the period perfectly smooth to be experienced by the eye of the painter. After it has been cleaned out with the white of the waste allowed with the dry coat perfectly, the last coat of the clear varnish is applied with the work is done in the small manner of the la that the varnish is spread evenly over the surface of not brush of, of the laps or other disfigurement of pyramid pyramid appear. Um, skill in varnishing. The varnishing of the molding of the numbers and designs of curious scare scrolls are the found with the inside of the varnishing of the different classes of the car. Varnishing and staining must be also applied with the, the hollow indentations made with the carving are not filled with varnish or stain, which would cause the carving to stand out with a darker black line out in the bottom of the, each of the hollow. This is a skillful job of the grain with the hollow piece of the wood with the carving and the wood stain with the clear of the surface of the wood. Special treatment. All the inside of the finish of the car is not, is not new, but it has been stained and varnished previously. It is left at the discretion of the painter assigned with the car with whether or not each of the piece of the molding of the other part of the finish required the varnish to be Remove them that is restrained with the revarnish off of the surface. The last coat of the varnish appeared with the result. Well, the good job of the rule result in the application of another single coat of the clear varnish with the knots will occur with the inside of the finish. But the painter must know the best method of preparing the knots so that the varnish will not slide off the usually smooth the surface. Of the, sometimes, in some cases, the same will not serve the surface of the from the knots. But the painter will then use the shallow and better know the of the proper properties after dyeing to hold the varnish in the knot and prevent it from sliding. There are many instances in the inside of the finish of the coating. Some of the parts are made with the pop, pop, pop. pop popular to corresponding with the rest of the inside of the finish for the painter stain the varnishes it so that only the experience can tell the wood from mahogany. Seal car finishing. The seal cars having the seal inside finished with the generally practice they have the seal inside the finished stain but the grain is mahogany only as an expert I can uh, I can sometimes distinguish the difference between the finished mahogany wood and seal finishes and as mahogany the majority of the railroad passengers riding the seal finished mahogany never perceive that they are inside the finished metal that it is not wood when it is called to their attention that they are sometimes incredible incredible as they often can be proven to them that the finish is, at, is of steel by tapping in um, by, in some hard of the object the substitution found but not to be sight but by hearing the difference in sound Graining. When the seal panels, portions are bad in condition, become necessary to remove the entire stain of the varnish, because which leaves the bare seal. The bare seal is prepared with the primary coat of the painted, usually with the color of the wood to be imi imitative of the zafal, but the coat of the stain with which is grained by the mechanical, sometimes with a comb, but most often by experts by using a simple brid brittle brush with the grain brought out of the sk skill as an imitation of the real wood that only the experience can sometimes tell by the sight of the finish of the metal after the grain can. Raining stain has dried. The surface is covered with a coat of the clean and varnish. Work on the sashes and doors while outside interior of the passenger cars is being prepared in the shop. The sashes and doors are undergoing similar treatment. The room is signed for that purpose. The problem is so met with it preparing the surface of the car inside with the out and or something preparing the sash inside and out respectively. Glaze and the painter cut and finishes um, fits the glass with all the car sashes. He needs the special spe special skills and experience to cut in the fir first prisma prismatic um, glass and fit together with a colored art glass that they applied with the gothic sash. Proper method of varnishing door. In preparing the door with the panel of the cross brace with the rail, the mechanical must know the proper method of doing work to avoid the brush and bark lap. The perspective would be, uh, be um, to the mention the here and whatever the painters apply with the working car, but the painters union within the building of the applicant with the use to give the door to the finish of the examination committee of the painter, union judges his skill and his right of the title of the painter of the method in which he does his work on the work door. And an experienced man will generally paint the varnish of the different parts of the door in order the, um, to, that it comes to him. In other 
other words, he must not familiar with um, he is not familiar with the order of the which the reached parts of the door must be finished with the procure with the best results. Varnishing a door, the proper method is to varnish the panels first, and then when the sleeve of the laps and finishes the stroke of the brush on the side of the rails and cross rails of the door. The cross rails of the varnished brush door brush eliminates the laps of the top and the bottom panels, leaves only the laps on the side of the rails of the door, and at the side of the rails of the door is extended completely over from the top of the bottom. But when these doors are brushed out, when they when these are brush out completely over the edge of the door no laps are, le are left by the exper experienced mechanic over the finished door section D letters and stenciling the passenger car point Painter must um, be able to do the lettering and the stenciling on the outside of the car. Letter board usually show the name of the railroad side sheeting near, near, near each end of the car. Give the car number the neat in case the mail car, the buffet car, the dining cars, and like of the title of the car will be lettered on the outside of the center of the car. Inside of the car, sometimes it's shown with the name of the railroad. The car name is shown with the door of the electrical mechanic mechanism stencil with the date of the last inspection. The oiling truck with the outside of the car, the stencil on the side of the, of the journals with the wave of the car, the stencil with the line one of the cross of the tie timber, the description of the air brake of the mecha mechanism together with the date, the clean and oil, the stencil is the air cylinder, the triple valve, and the reserve. The asking and stencil with the capacity and last date of the inspection, the, the amount of the stencil and difference of each for the type of the car, the painter must be able to determine the size of the journal, the capacity of the gas tank, the direction of the air brake mechanism. On each of the car, in order to have the mechanism made sensible for the car correctly and stencil it in every place where the when we're required. The cutting of the stencil is usually done with the varnishing room where the sash and doors are treated by, by all the painters required to be able to cut stencils if called to do so. Pouncing. The method of applying the letters is following. The pouncing mat pattern sometimes each of the letters, sometimes for a word and number of the letters that is placed against the surface of a car and brushed in with a solution of the chalk in which goes through the holes in the pattern, leaving the outline of the letter on the, on the car. Seizing. The outline of the letter is then filled with the varnish on the side of the required the car in order to make the outline with the letter sharp with the given the curve of the portion of the letter correct. The letter then pressed with a gold leaf directly by, from the book in which it becomes in the varnished surface which it adheres to. After he um, varnishes the surface well covered with a gold leaf, he, cut, he cuts the brush overlapping edge of the leaf from the outline of the letter. The may, must be familiar with the type of lettering of the standard for the, each of the car the must know the parts inside and outside of each of the class of the cars required to be lettered. It will be understood that all the gold Leafing lettering is done before the two coats of the varnish are applied to the car. Filling the outline of the letters required the careful use of the small brush for letter use of the applied to any of the varnish outside of the outlining of the letter will be difficult to move it without leaving the sticky surface with which the gold leaf will adhere to the applied, thus making the outline of the letter irregular incentive of the clear cut must apply with the gold leaf of the painter must be certain that seizing the proper attack and that is most having the proper degree of the set and size to do moist of the left man applied with the wheel mix with it and too dry the leaf will not be adhered to the um, edges. Applying gold leaf. Gold leaf used in lettering to probably be the thinnest of the substance handled by the men is said to be required to 2,500,000 2, sheets of the gold leaf to make the volume of one inch thick. In applying it, the mechanics must use the care in catching the particles that he cuts and brushes off because it is value. Uh, on certain classes of the car, the lettering is to be done with gold leaf, but, but uh, outlining of the letters is filled with the paint with various colors like according to the style on the, the road. The mainers of the when lettering does not receive the specific instruction of the kind of the letter, type of the letters and the location that they must be put in, nor how much lettering each of the style of the car requires. All of these information must be a part of the shop um, knowledge. Making pounds patterns. Pa the, pattern, um, the painter must make the pounds pattern used in lettering and doing this first assertion the length of the space in which the required lettering must be placed to make sure of the pattern accordingly. One of the pattern paper makes the outline of each of the letter roughly chalk the chalk flowers the making the, the care mo more carefully into the pencil using the pencil outline with his guide and he bounces out the punches punches out the letters uh, line of each of the letter making the series of the small holes in the paper. Although the work is done by freehand it requires it would require careful measurement to go over the inaccuracy of the spacing of the letters. Special work. Everyone, every, every, every time someone has something seen with the circus ram, every car with the fancy lettering, fantastic scroll, the work of the lettering ornament is often done with these cards. Maybe the car man painter. Very often, the work of the description of the painter received no specification, specific direction. For example, the decoration of the car of Celius Floto Circus. The owner gave the, the painter only a verbal idea. 
of what was wanted. Every detail was left in the originality in the orders of the painter. And dining with the buffet, carved the power of the car's observation, carved the private car of the painter, required to finish all of the furniture, chairs and tables that are part of the equipment for these cars. The treatment of the chairs and tables is exactly similar to describe the for the inside finished. The result of the job is the same as this, requires the same scale as doing does any of the housing of the furniture. Or working condition, the passenger car painted work is not done with an excessive amount of speed, and an excess of the speed would tend to hurt the finish of the quality of each of the product, and most of the shop power for the output of the success of the great require of the painters would work very directly. Um, very steadily. Um, the work is generally done with a well-lighted shop, the, uh, shop free from the dust and the draws as possible. The temperature of the shop is maintained equally as possibly about 70 degrees. The work is main at the paint shop at the winter time is disagreeable, but in the summer the painter suffers at the times from the heat that the doors of the shop are required to be closed on account of the draws, but, the very, but when varnishing the car, the fumes of the turpentine are much more obnoxious in the summertime than in the winter as more of the oil evaporates. The discomfort from the fumes of the turpentine experienced more, more by the painter on the outside on the inside of the car than on the outside because in fact the air is very close in the inside of the car the car inside of the shop is in the house with the house the, there is little movement of the air inside of it and it aggravates the fumes from what's the turpentine the effect of the turpentine on the workers to make them drowsy in some cases the man suffers a headache at the same shop, the painters and they examine the biophysician once every month to determine whether or not they are suffering from lead poisoning or some other disease peculiar to their occupation. Present most railroad shops use lead po less lead in their paint than they did in former years. This lessens the danger of lead poisoning to their employees. Uh, our observation of the painters are generally more anemic, the more ab ab appetites, the more an unhealthy color for than any other than car department employees. The painters use a great deal of the waste, which becomes saturated with the point in oil that must achieve the care of the clothes of each of the day. And the note that the waste of the still left laying around the shop would be undoubtedly caused by the fire with the spontaneous combustion. In the same shop, the apprentice is required to go with the car to car with the bucket and collect all the wa all the waste from the painters. Personal requirements. Among with the personal requirement, the painter must be have the deafness of the touch and considerable degree of the control of the muscles of the forearm, wrist, and hand. He must be able to vary pressure of the brush and control of the direction of the sweep over the stroke with a very length. He must be able to um, guide the brush carefully, but both freehand and following lines must be able to directly point 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 the edge of the front brush carefully enough so that when the painting of corners that he must done left with the brush mark he will have not to know the, the barrier of the brush pressure according whether he is working with the paint or the varnish for taking it all the clear with the, the man who is natured or awkward and the muscle cannot become a good painter even a person with a usual accuracy with the control requires a great deal of the training and the practice before he becomes a painter who can be classified as a mechanic all right section e working on freight 